Our criminal justice system has failed us in so many ways. When you're black in here in America, the system is never for us. It is always against us. And you think about the old saying, it's not justice, it's just us. For these two college athletes convicted of rape, say about our broken justice system. Brock Turner was convicted of rape and sentenced to six months in jail. Corey Beatty was convicted of rape and sentenced to 15 to 25 years in prison. Both are 19-year-old college students who were convicted of raping an unconscious woman. See a difference here? The horrifying story of Brock Turner, a Stanford University swimmer who raped an unconscious woman behind a dumpster in January 2015, has been a mainstay in the headlines. The Dayton, Ohio native was charged with five different felonies and was convicted of three felony assault charges. But while he faced a maximum sentence of 14 years in prison, Brock was sentenced to just three years probation and a mere six months in county jail, of which he's only expected to serve three. Santa Clara County Superior Court Judge Aaron Persky justified his sentencing, citing Turner's age and lack of criminal history. The sentencing caused an immediate backlash, with nearly one million people signing a Change.org petition to remove Persky from the bench. Judge Persky fails to see that the fact that Brock Turner is a white male star athlete at a prestigious university does not entitle him to leniency, the petition reads. To many, Turner's sentencing symbolizes the criminal justice system's double standard, especially if you compare it to the strikingly similar case of Corey Beatty. Beatty, a then 19-year-old black star football player at Vanderbilt University, was charged with raping an unconscious woman in 2013. Just like in Turner's case, there was plenty of evidence of Beatty's guilt. And in April, he was found guilty of three felony counts and was sentenced to a minimum of 15 to 25 years in prison. That's a whopping 3,000% longer than Turner's sentence for a comparable crime. A 2013 Pew Research Center study found that black men were six times more likely to be in prison than white men in 2010. A 2013 study by the U.S. Sentencing Commission also found that black men served prison sentences an average of 20% longer than white men for similar crimes.